I get the stitches out of my elbow today. Ouch. Elbows. They take such a long time to heal because you're always moving it. And so I have a crazy sore neck. But I think I'm going to go and go through to my own garden. They're on to the van lifers. Those van lifers don't wear shoes very often. <laughs> it is a new moon today. just woken up it is raining this morning the first time in a long time and it's been hot so this cold slightly muggy weather is a reprieve but I have to take this dressing off my elbow it's been getting really itchy it's been on for five days and it's about been about two weeks two and a half weeks since my initial injury I have not yet looked, but my skin is ready for a breather. Oh, this is gross. First time I had it dressed, it's stuck. <laughs> oh, these come off so much nicer. Yeah, unfortunately I have to take the whole scab off to get this off. Okay, I'm gonna blur it out. Oh my gosh, my whole elbow was very stiff and sore. Uh, I have been putting poplar salve, um, cottonwood salve. So you remember a while back I collected a whole lot of poplar buds. Um, I've got some poplar salve in the making. This is what it looks like in between. All these poplar buds have been soaking in oil. And at some point we take this out and mix in um, beeswax and it becomes a salve. And this is super medicinal and it's what I've been putting on my wounds, on my knees and my scrapes and my aches. So have you been keeping me company? You have. Ah, I know because I'm actually peeling away scab here trying to get this dressing off. <laughs> it's just the wrong type of dressing. It feels really good because it's so cold. I bet it does, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you put this new, this dressing on? Not on the stitches, no. no, no that's the, stitches. the original one from Friday. Okay. I only put the one on the one on the side that I think we've already pulled off. We tried to take, try and start taking this one off and I was just like, uh-uh. Yeah. Ouch. I get the stitches out of my elbow today. What's that? And my wonderful friend Amanda is going to take me to the hospital. Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh, I love you. I'm almost ready. Okay, Frankie, you ready? Look at that tail. I have my emotional support crew here. <laughs> hey, Frank. He had his head on my lap. It was so cute. Aww. I feel so loved and taken care of. Precious Frank.
It takes such a long time to heal because you're always moving it. <sighs> oh, I'm just feeling a bit grumpy because I've been holding my arm and trying to protect this elbow. The opposite side of my body is really tensed up and I'm on a crazy headache. I just had a nap. I mean, it's also really hot. It's really hot and I've had the fan on. I think I'm just, I'm having a struggle day today. I'm gonna take some painkillers. I got my stitches out, so that was a bonus, but it was like two and a half, nearly three hours at the hospital. Cause you know, BC has a problem with no family doctors so you have to go to the hospital for everything which then of course overloads the emergency system and so I have a crazy sore neck but I think I'm gonna go and go through to my own garden and try and between the weeds pull out some food some a bunch of tomatoes that I want to pick and I think there's some kale too. I don't know what else is still alive. Maybe the basil? I don't know. Let's go. Have a bowl. I love copper things. I really do. Let's go have a look, see what we can find. Oh, there's lots. to miss out on. That's a pretty good harvest for today. It's only a small bowl. Yum. I just got back from the garden to pick a whole lot of things and I'm gonna make a salad and then I'm pretty excited because I have a decently enough amount of blackberries and it's blackberry season and I really wanted to try making a blackberry gin liqueur. So let's Salad first, eat, and then make the gin liqueur. I'll show you. So, decent amount of tomatoes, some basil, one very sad looking ripe apple, kale, and then my mound of blackberries, which I'm going to turn into something for my gin bin. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. All right, let's get cracking in the kitchen. Yeah, I'm recording. No, it's just this way. Unless you say something that you want recorded. <laughs> this smoothie is a delicious life saving. No, I'm glad. Mmm. Mmm. It's so fresh. 
So in my salad making endeavors, I have cucumber, chopped up kale, lots of tomatoes, and then I'm going to put these cherry tomatoes and basil as garnish and put some blue blackberries in as the part of the dressing. It's going to be so yummy. Yay. <laughs> this jar had sugar in it. So I'm going to put all the rest of those blackberries in before they stain my beautiful kitchen bench because I think, yeah, my my little kitchen bench is going to get all covered in blackberry, blackberry stains and I've got the hiccups from eating some of my salad. Okay, so the plan is, put these in here, put a lid on it. shake it round it will absorb all the sugar that's on the side of this jar. I actually add a little more but I'm gonna add some spices some gin. Let's use let's use some of this one. I'm gonna make some blackberry gin liqueur so we have a half a jar of Blackberries, and I'll try and cover it. Perfect. I just put in here four cloves, three cardamom pods, and a cinnamon stick. It's gonna be tasty. So there's extra sugar in there now. Let's put the lid on, give it a shake. Shake, 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 shake. And I'd have you know that I'm really enjoy having some mobility back in my arm, but everything's coming from the elbow down. The shoulder is still doing very little. <sighs> we'll rehab the shoulder eventually. I can do I can do a lot of stuff like this, but lifting my arm above that angle is still pretty painful. This is gonna be amazing. Foraging. Is there a deer up there? Or a bird? I think it's a bird. Ow. Oh. <laughs> I feel like the walking worm did, but also like so happy to be doing something. Yeah, this is nice, gentle activity. Just mind the spikes. Yeah. Oh, they're so lush and juicy. They're just starting to ripen. Oh, can I make that? It smells like deer. Oh, the sun is so pretty. That is a really good clump, but I'm just a little too short. Unless I get my whole body up in there, and I'm not going to do that today. No. I'm the wounded here. We don't need any more wounds. Yeah. Hey. Oh. Why my bung arm holding the camera, uh, the ho holding the board? That's a pretty bowl of sunshine. Oh, my elbow. You're a pretty bowl of sunshine. Make me blush. <laughs> Life is hard. <laughs> it really just looks like blackberry juice. <laughs> me and my two skin knees. Apple cider vinegar. Um, oil, olive oil, I think. Crystallized lime, salt, a little bit of pepper, ginger, and marjoram. Wow. It's gonna go so good with the blackberries. And then we're adding blackberries to it. Mm -hmm. Let's see, he's a fan. <laughs> he's just like, chill. Yum. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. Mm -hmm. We've got salad, basil, sauce, beans, mango, and mm -hmm. For all you fit, foot 
freaks out there. <laughs> They're out there. They're on to the van lifers. Those van lifers don't wear shoes very often. <laughs> I have... the cutest face ever. This is breakfast and lunch all at once. Mm-hmm. Ah, there we go. Are we ready to dig in? I'm so hungry. Shall we thank the lesbians of the island for this taco <laughs> feast and blessing on this new moon of... Praise Cephas! <laughs> <laughs> Let us tap our tacos together. <laughs> with the spicy vegan chorizo, I guess. I don't know. Oh my god. It's so good. Yum. Mm. We didn't grab napkins, but we have the ocean. Yeah. Got my paint set up. I'm gonna do a little bit of art in the park. And out there is the ocean and that's that's Frank. <sighs> It's so nice to just sit amongst the trees and today truly actually does feel like the first day of autumn and it's sad. Like, I think in the southern hemisphere, because the weather is so mild, it feels like you get six months of warmth and six months of cool. Whereas here in the northern hemisphere, the feeling of really having separations between all four seasons is much more marked. Southern Hemisphere, to me, it just feels like this too cold and hot. And I mean, there is this um, spring and autumn. But yeah, gonna sit amongst these trees, rest my little elbow here and just paint and hang out. Amanda's brought me here and I think if I was at home I would get very easily distracted with oh I should be tidying up, oh I should be doing the dishes, oh I could be working on this this and this even though like some of those things would probably cause strain on my injuries. It's really nice to have some company and some rest. So I have this, which is postcards. So each one is, I can post it to somebody. And I've been doing a few of them to pick which flower I want to paint. I love painting flowers. And now that I have a new paint set with all of these amazing colors, it just makes me want to Turn these into some beautiful art. Hey Frank, we're gonna do some paintings. It is a new moon today, and this feels like an important moment to mark in time with the events that are currently going on in our lives. So. Take your time on your new moon to do something that feels special for you. Here's a watercolor painting I did already. These two I'm going to do next. I like these ones because they already have the outline on it and I like playing with color and I don't feel super confident about drawing the initial shapes I'm going to draw. So this helps. And these get sent to my Patreons. Some of the middle, the middle and higher tier Patreons will get sent a watercolor painting postcard. Oh, I'm so excited to do this. This feels really special. Hey, bud. It's really special. It's coming along. <laughs> Chocolate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
it's time for chocolate now. This one's unopened. This one's open. Dig into that. This one is, I think, unopened. And this one is the 100% stoned ground dark chocolate. And it is so dark. 100% cacao. It is, I mean, as dark as it gets. So it's really Hi. This boy, are you so Oh. No. <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> Feel like I'm working with yellow today. experience you did brilliantly it's gorgeous i got really into it i'm like i want to do more yay i wanted to say a huge thank you to all of you who had reached out and sent lovely messages of support and concern and telling me off after my bike accident it's been really amazing to have amanda's support and frank's cheerleading every morning when he would be like oh so excited to see me um and i thought i'd give you an update on my arm and my shoulder so i've had the stitches out of my elbow and i'm still in rehabilitation i'm trying to use my arm as normal um this is my this is my good arm and i can use it a lot my right arm which is my dominant editing writing computer hand i now have movement a little bit up to here and then this way laterally about 45 degrees which is nothing compared to when your rotator cuff needs to be able to lift your arm up it was amazing at the time of the accident to have some random strangers come up and help me off the road call an ambulance i didn't do all of those things that just kind of happened around me um and then the ambulance um, took me to the hospital and they called the fire service to pick up my bike and take it to the hospital. And then I was picked up by friends later on and taken home. So currently my shoulder is all strapped up with strapping tape to support it and keep the, sh the arm socket in alignment and support the healing of these muscles here. So you might see me in videos moving around kind of as if I'm kind of recovered but on all of the building stuff which requires me to i can do it if i assist myself lift this arm over my shoulder is still very difficult and really challenging so i'm kind of still operating with my left hand using my right hand as much as i can kind of in this range and then not doing any overhead work because i just can't um Hopefully I regain that soon. I have so much to do. But thankfully, trucking along in the background, some of the more 
uh, big pro bigger projects on the van are making progress. I know I've been hinting at propane and water. Stuff is happening and I will update you very soon. Uh, and in the meantime, Amanda's been taking very good care of me. We've been doing some gentle rehabilitation and some slow exercise and low impact stuff because I have been going crazy. Stir crazy, cabin fever, Ugh. not being able to drive like in real time. I've only just started driving again and the video that you're seeing is from a couple of weeks ago, more than a couple of weeks ago actually. So. I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe down below and hit the notification bell. I see some videos get heaps of views and some, some don't, so if you hit the notification bell, you'll actually get reminded by YouTube that I do a new video every week. Otherwise, come to my channel, try it and look out for it. And a big thank you, especially to you guys, you know who you are, to my Patreons. You have been such an encouragement and keeping my spirits boist boisted when I have been frustrated with slow progress of healing my shoulder. <sighs> and I'll see you all next time. Bye!